In Georgia, voters have elected the country's first female president. Backed by the ruling Georgian Dream Party, Salome Zurabishvili claimed victory by landslide over Grigol Vashadze, winning 59% of the vote with nearly all the ballots counted. The French-born ex-diplomat will take on a role that's due to become largely, largely ceremonial when Georgia's new constitution comes into force. Uh, the runoff vote was the last time a president will be directly elected in Georgia. But the election's also seen as an indicator of how parliamentary elections in 2020 could go. Well, early this morning, the president-elect said she wanted Georgia to unite behind her. Our choice is a peaceful Georgia, a united country of equal citizens. Our choice is dialogue with those parts of society who today did not vote for me and who today do not agree with us. But we are all citizens of one country. Well, let's stay with this story and get a little bit more political analysis. To do that, I'm doing, joined by David Shichinava, who joins us from uh, Tbilisi. He works uh, for the CRRC uh, Georgia think tank. Good morning, Mr. Shichinava. Thank you for joining uh, us uh, on the good program. Good morning. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> now, the president-elect has been uh, described by pro-Russian uh, opponents, uh, sorry, by, she's been described as pro-Russian by uh, some of her opponents, uh, perhaps that she's trying to seek more alignment with Russia. Is that something that you would agree with? Uh, okay, I guess when speaking about uh, the president of Georgia right now, as you, you correctly mentioned, that uh, it's uh, more or less of a figurehead rather than a uh, figure which actually has to say uh, when deciding uh, policy, uh, important policy issues, especially regarding foreign policy orientation. Uh, therefore, the government, uh, by all means, will continue its previous policies, which was actually directed towards closer, uh, um, uh, closer um, integration with the European Union. Basically, current government signed the uh, association agreement and actually they are also participating actively in uh, NATO-led operations. So my answer would be that there won't be any uh, uh, changes in that regard. But, in, but in, if we look at her, her past record, uh, both as uh, a diplomat and, as, and in a ministerial role, uh, could we draw from that that she's quite pragmatic in the sense that Georgia needs to position itself between, its, uh, between Russia and between the West, be that the EU, be that NATO? Uh, her opponents certainly would like to see closer NATO, closer EU uh, rapprochement, but uh, is Ms. Zurabish really going to do the same? Um, uh, I definitely agree that uh, she will uh, try to be more pragmatic, but uh, to be frank, I do not see like many changes in uh, Georgia's uh, like, drive towards the West. Yeah, maybe on the declarative level, uh, she and maybe the, some other government officials might be uh, a little bit milder than, for instance, Mr. Saakashvili was during the previous government, but uh, like he line of how the government acts in the international uh, stage, it won't change dramatically. That's uh, what, um, what the current situation indicates so far. Okay. OK, uh, there were uh, there were accusations from the opposition of voting irregularities during uh, the election process. Was this carried out, in your opinion, was this carried out, uh, this election on a level playing field? Uh, great question. Uh, on the uh, so electoral process, of course, consists of um, uh, the processes which occur during the election day and before the election day. Basically, there were like several aspects which still remain problematic in the uh, campaigning period. So these are campaign finances. It was it was not an equal field. Um, uh, Mr. Rabishvili was able to garner about. Uh, 8 million Georgian Laris, which are uh, around uh, 4 million US dollars. And it was far more than her um, opponents from all political parties. Secondly, especially during the uh, uh, run of campaigns, there was a huge campaign in the uh, social networks, 
uh, and uh, the government party, uh, the the government actually hired some political consultancies, uh, let's say from Israel and from other countries to direct that. And the thirdly, it was really important that the government announced uh, cutting off uh, uh, loans, like small loans for about 600,000 people. Um, and uh, uh, to give you a context, uh, over indebtedness is a very important problem, which Georgians, especially the poorest part of Georgians, face. 